This is the MGTOW Infinium here with another Infinium training session. This Infinium training session is entitled, Who Hurt You? The Tactic of Weaponization. Now, my main talk about this, inevitably and invariably, you will experience the tactic of weaponization. This is where women use anything and everything as weapons in their ongoing efforts to either entrap men or to keep men entrapped into their Venus fly traps. There are many reasons why women use the tactical weaponization, but the ultimate goal is to ultimately destabilize men's defenses, thereby causing them to falter, and thus allowing women to gain an upper hand in terms of control over them. Additionally, women in many cases will use this tactic to cause great harm to a man's life, anything ranging from causing depression to poverty and anything in between. It is important for you to understand that any woman will use the tactic of weaponization on a man. This means that this can occur with the well, women that you do know as well as those that you don't. So for instance, you can have uh, a woman who out of the blue that you meet in public use a tactic of weaponization on you as well as uh, women that you do know. Uh, so like your mother, your sister, uh, your woman that you're uh, married to or dating, any woman that you have uh, some kind of relationship as well as those that you do not. Uh, so for instance, I, uh, I'll give an example. I was on my job and a few months uh, before the COVID-19 hit, I encountered a woman who could be considered a thought. And she uh, made a pass at me and I rejected her. And her immediate response to me was, see, that's why men like you can't get a woman. So because she was butthurt, she basically attacked me and my personality and my nature as a man because uh, she used uh, what she thought was a failing in me as a weapon to try to hit at me because she was uh, butthurt. But moving on, for the most part, however, women use the, who use the tactic of weaponization are those who you are familiar with. And as aforementioned, anything and everything can be used in the tactic of weaponization. Some examples are, number one, tactical information which you'll share with them in confidence. So this means any type of uh, personal information that you share with uh, some woman that you're in a relationship with uh, that they later use to uh, weaponize against you in a disagreement or argument. Number two, your overall personality. I have been regularly attacked uh, because I am by nature an introvert. And um, according to my sister, that is wrong. Even though uh, people can have um, all types of personalities, I am wrong for being an introvert. Number three, past financial failures, loss of a job, home, bankruptcy, that type of thing. It can be used upon you. Number four, the type of work that you do. Number five, the type of car that you drive. Number six, past relationship failures, marriage that fail. Number seven, never, never being married. Number eight, mental health issues. Number nine, friends or relatives. So for instance, you can have a situation again where um, uh, you have, uh, you, let's say you're married and your wife uh, wants to do something to you like divorce, rape you. She will uh, try to corrupt your friends, your relatives, uh, try to get them to uh, be on her side. And so uh, they are weaponized against you. Number 10, children. Women regularly use children as children as weapons against men, particularly when it comes to issues surrounding a divorce. Again, the aforementioned are just 10 examples of what can be used upon you when the tactic of weaponization is employed by women. Some of the reasons why women use the tactic of weaponization are one, number one, to maintain control in a tactical situation. So for instance, if you are involved with a divorce 
she will most likely use a tactic of weaponization to uh, give her up in hand in that divorce so she can win that divorce decree. Number two, to maintain control in an argument. Again, the tactic of weaponization is most likely used when a woman is uh, beginning to lose an argument. She will try to uh, try to push back by using something that she knows about you that is a fault or an issue that you've had in the past and will bring it up in an argument. And also, it's, it's a point of deflection. She will try to deflect off of her any type of um, accountability in terms of her taking accountability and deflect it back onto you by using weaponization. Number three, to shit test. Women enjoy shit testing men. And most likely in a shit test, she will use a tactic of a weaponization in terms of, um, well, you didn't do that in the past, right? Why don't you try it again? Do it right. That type of thing. Number four, to mind fuck. Again, women like to have an upper hand on men. And they like to mindfuck men. And again, when a mindfuck happens to you, it can happen with a, a woman that you do know and as well as a woman that you don't know. Number five, to logic bomb. To cause a situation in your mind where you're like having a WTF moment that your mind is locked up and you're thinking about what she said, what, what she, did she mean by that? Uh, why did she say that to me? That type of thing. Number six, to cause vexation, exasperation, and frustration. Women enjoy vexing men. They enjoy causing exasperation. They enjoy causing men to be frustrated. That's something, again, that we as MGTOW men, we need to be aware of. We need to understand that. But women enjoy doing that. Again, as I cited in, in past uh, lessons that I've uh, given, women do not want peace. They want to disturb you. And part of the way that they do it is using a tactic of weaponization to cause you, again, to be vexed, to be exasperated, to be frustrated. Number seven, to shame. Women enjoy shaming men. And shaming is a, is a process where they like to have control over men. They like to put men down and they enjoy it in their hearts. And so again, in the process of shaming, you can have a tactic of weaponization used upon you. So again, my brothers, again, the aforementioned are just some of the reasons why women use the tactic of weaponization. It is important for you as a man to realize that when a woman is using the tactic of weaponization upon you, to not let it undermine you as a man. You must understand that, the, at, that at the heart of the attack of this tactic, it is not the truth of the matter, but it is a woman's desire to always have the upper hand when it comes to a man. You must remember that overall, women feel that they, that they are superior to men, thus giving them the sense that they can never be wrong, even when they are caught cold busted, my brothers. You must remember that whatever is used upon you as a man in terms of weaponization does not qualify as a definer as, as to who you are as a MGTOW, my brothers. Rather, it is, it is the simple infusing power of the MGTOW philosophy, which both defines you and frees you as a man to go his own way. And lastly, I would just like to give a shout out to uh, a comment that was left by, um, uh, I believe it's Alton Ur Nubizera. If I pronounce it wrong, I'm sorry, my brother, but he had left a comment on the last lesson to just do an experiment to feed a female a false weakness 
and see what happens when you get into argument and see that that most likely that weakness that you gave to that woman will be used upon you in a weaponized manner. And my brother, I have had it happen to me, and I agree. But my mentor brothers, getting back to what I've been saying, again, you are the one who has said, I will go on my own way. And there is no tactic that a woman can use upon you that can cause you to be pulled back off of the MGTOW path unless you let it. You must understand that uh, when these women are doing it to you in that manner, they are ultimately hurting themselves because you have to look at it this way. They are driving men away from them. And so when they run around where the good men are, when they question what happened here, why won't men talk to us? Why won't men deal with us? Why won't men talk to us, dialogue with us? They have to begin to look in the mirror because men are saying no to all these things. And my MGTOW brothers, they are saying yes to the MGTOW philosophy. Because again, the simple infusing power of the MGTOW philosophy allows men to be free from these things, to, to look past the weaponization tactics that women use upon us and look at who we are as men. The MGTOW philosophy defines us as men. It, it says that, that, that we are not what these women say that we are. We are men who critically think, who have said no to this stuff. We will not be subjected to it, and we will go our own way. And in these cases, we have said collectively and corporately to these women that are doing these things that, frankly, my dears, we don't give a damn. So my mate talk brothers again, you have to not look at these things when these women are doing these things to you. You have to look at what the reality of the matter is because a lot of times these things are being done to you to, again, undermine you as a man. And you have to look at what the MGTOW philosophy does for you in these cases because it not only defines you as a man, it builds a solid foundation for you as a man. It allows you to be on a pathway to freedom, to sanctity and peace. So my mentor brothers, again, yes, you will encounter the tactic of weaponization, but my mentor brothers, again, that does not define you, that does not say who you are as a man, you are more than what these women say that you are. You are more than something that has, has been weaponized against you. You are more than these things, my brothers. With that being said, you must keep your eyes focused on where you're going. Well, now, not on what these women are saying, but keep your eyes focused on where you're going, which you're on a pathway to freedom, peace, and, and your sanctity, which is valuable to you. You must remember that you're walking away from something that has enslaved you, something that has uh, kept you bound, kept you limited, and you're walking into a realm where there are limitless possibilities. So that being said, my brothers, stay focused, hold the line, and stay on the pathway to your freedom. This is the Mekta Infinium, and this has been an Infinium training session. My Mekta brothers, now more than ever, stay safe, Stay strong, stay on the MGTOW path, and remember, 
MGTOW is the liberation of men's minds. MGTOW cannot and will not be stopped.